Hey, what's up guys? It's the news from AndroidRoots.com. We're taking a look at SlimCat ROM for the Galaxy S4 GT i9 505 T-Mobile Canadian variants, AT&T, Verizon, and Sprint. I'll leave links down below where you can go ahead and pick this up for your very own Galaxy S4 for a custom ROM. Um, so here it is, and if you guys think SlimCat sounds really familiar with Slim Bean, they're basically the same thing, except this one is based off of KitKat instead of Jelly Bean. So we'll go ahead and take a look around here. So right now, you get a couple things installed already. Already. Um, so you have KT, KT, <laughs> I always mess this up, K Tweaker, there we go. Um, so this is your kernel tweaker which will go ahead and optimize your device for better speed, performance, battery life, all that great stuff. All within here you have extras, voltages, all that stuff. So you've probably seen this in the past, nothing uh, you know too crazy surprising. Uh, but this will definitely help you out uh, you know lasting throughout the day or you know playing that one game that lags a lot even though it shouldn't with the Galaxy S4, it's a powerhouse. <laughs> Um, also, you have Nova Launcher right there included. Um, I'm not currently running Nova Launcher, but this Google Launcher does come by five by six, so it does come. It does kind of feel crammed up, which I don't think is a bad thing at all. Actually, I kind of like it, especially since the icons are much smaller. You can fit a lot more apps on your home screen, and it makes your phone feel super big just because everything is all small while your screen is still really nice and large from the Galaxy S4. So let's go ahead and dive into settings. And once again, you can see all the text within settings is all nice and small, making your Galaxy S4 feel super huge. So like I said earlier, you guys are running on Android 4.4.2, KitKat Slim Cat, basically the same thing as Slim Bean, except running on KitKat, like I mentioned earlier. Um, so we'll go ahead and take a look at some of these options within advanced settings right here. Oh, but if we actually go and do that, I want to show you the new um, uh, way you can multitask. So if you go hold on the uh, home button, that is your new way to multitask. Um, so those are all my open applications, and I like this. Um, it gives you a nice screenshot of what is currently running, as you can see in some cases. Uh, if you want to go and kill it, just swipe away and it's killed. So I really like that, especially since it doesn't ruin the interface. So you can still use this kind of, you know, so it doesn't it's not a whole new application, basically. You can still see what's running on the side. Um, so I really like that. It's a nice touch to the slim cat RAM. So under interface, right here, so you have battery icon, notification, uh, and oh, um, what is that, QS drawer? Yeah, this QS drawer and status bar. So nothing, uh, you know, too crazy, status bar, clock and date. Battery icon is just gonna change the color or the icon look of it. So you can do percentage if you want. Now you have 84 percentage. Nothing too crazy, pricing that in a ton of other ROMs. But let's go ahead and change it up a little bit. And I'll go under navigation. We'll go ahead and uh, tap on SlimPy. Go ahead and enable that. And now this is where you can go ahead and add some options. So you have two layers. This is your first layer. And then you can go ahead and do second layer right here. And you have all these other options. So I went ahead and turned it on. Now if you go ahead and let's try to uh, enable it. There we go. Um, so you have your first layer. Oh, <laughs> it went away since I turned the device. Let's go ahead and do this on the home screen. It works better. There we go. Um, so you have your home, recents, and back button. But on top of that, you have turning on and off Pi. I believe that's options search screenshot keyboard and also uh i, <laughs> I don't even know what that is uh but you guys get the idea you have two layers which is nice so if i can go ahead and i can tap on screenshot and it'll go ahead and take a screenshot of my home screen or whatever app you're currently on so that's a real nice touch and of course you can go ahead and mess around with all those other options too so we can go ahead and go back into settings um and you can change and add other options so we can go ahead and show you that real quick um, so we can go into buttons right there, second layer, and then you can go ahead add a ton more as you can see. So screen off, you can even add custom applications right here. So you guys get the idea that you have a lot of customization freedom with this Slim Pi option. Um, you also have a hardware button, so you can go ahead and change the option, home and back button if you want to. Um, I never do because, you know, you might forget what you changed it to. And you might be screwed with the home button back. <laughs> um, so I really don't even mess around with that. Uh, you also have global menu, which is kind of interesting. Um, so you can go ahead and add a couple new features. So I went ahead and added two uh, ones that weren't already here, maps and pie control. Now if I go ahead and hold down the power button, I get my menu, uh, you know, power menu basically, and you have map, application, and pie control. So I can go ahead and turn that pie control off now. And now it is off. I can go and tap on it and turn it off. And you can add so many more options, uh, basically the same as SlimPie. Um, you know, you can add a custom app even too. 
Um, so that's a nice touch. I don't like that. Uh, let's see what else is in this Slim Cat ROM. So yes, you do get uh, the dark slim. I'd recommend just leaving that on. It looks a lot better than the gray settings, and it does save you better life. Uh, slim Center, you can go ahead and add, uh, get over their updates for your Galaxy S4. So no more need to you know connect it to your computer. You know uh, transfer that uh, new latest Slim Cat. RAM to your Galaxy S4 and then flash it. You can just get all within here and be notified when there's a new one updated and all that. Um, so that's really convenient. Uh, but that's pretty much it guys for this video. Let's see if I missed any applications. I believe I touched on all the applications I wanted to. Uh, yeah, and you also get this uh, Simple Explorer right there, uh, which isn't too crazy. But that's pretty much it for this video guys. If you guys did enjoy this ROM review, be sure to like and subscribe in the bottom hand corner. This is Slimcat ROM for the Galaxy S4 GT i9 505 T-Mobile Canadian at t Verizon and Sprint. I'll leave a link down below in the video description where you can go ahead and pick this up for your very own Galaxy S4. And if you guys did enjoy this content, be sure to share this video uh, on Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus with the share button down below. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you later. Peace.